For our next craft, we're going to make some cloud dough. It's a bit like the stuff that you can buy in the shop that's called moon sand. And you can use it to model with and make sand castles and, and just or have all kinds of fun. It's a very sensory thing to play with. So uh, lots of people like uh, just playing with it because it, it feels good. Um, what you'll need to make it is you'll need some flour and some vegetable oil and some kind of measure. I've got a cup measure, but you can use any measure as long as you use exactly the same measure for your oil and your flour. It's basically five parts flour to one part oil. So I'm going to crack on and I'll show you what it's like when I've mixed mine together. So I've put my um, vegetable oil in my flour. I had to put the flour in a bigger tub because five cups of flour is actually quite a lot. And now I'm mixing with a spoon. At some point I'm going to need to get my hands in. Um, but for the moment I'm just using a spoon to mix. I'm guessing that it's going to be like mixing crumble mix where you kind of rub the flour and butter together with your fingers it's a basically a glorified crumble mix isn't it and um, what you can do with this if you don't want to use uh, vegetable oil is you can use baby oil um, it's not obviously food safe if you use baby oil, but it will smell lovely. Um, but, you know, if you've got really little ones who might put their cloud dough in their mouth, then uh, having food safe... Oh, dropped it on the floor. Dropped some on the floor. Never mind. It's a good idea. So, yeah, you're looking for a really crumbly, sandy texture. I'm going to keep working on this and get back to you. Okay, so now my uh, my mixture is, is really crumbly, but if I squish it together, it's got the kind of consistency of wet sand, which means that you can mould it. That's just exactly the kind of consistency that you want and what is ideal for this kind of uh, modeling material is if you've got a, tr uh, a, a kind of a deep-ish tray to put it in um, I don't have one of those with me at home um, I actually do but it's got my Easter garden in it at the moment so um, I don't have one to hand so I'm going to use an ordinary uh, dinner tray to tip it out onto. Oh. Got some that won't come out. There's always some, isn't there? You have to excuse me, I'm trying to video and <laughs> so as you can see it's absolutely fabulous. You can squish it and squash it and poke it and make patterns in it. It's really good. So you could put um like little people in it, Lego people or Playmobil people to um to make a beach. Um or you can model it and I'm gonna show you how to make uh, a sandcastle. Okay, so I've just got a tiny little Tupperware container here and I've filled it with the uh, so, and voila you can do as many of these as you want and join them together just like you would at the beach um, and make a fantastic sandcastle now this probably has this amount of uh, dough has probably taken about a third of a bag of flour so if you wanted to um, have a real beach experience and maybe fill a tough tray or something a whole bag of flour and three cups of sunflower oil would make a huge amount of sand for you to play with. Um, and what I think would be 
really awesome is if you made some flags to go on your sandcastle. Um, I'd love to see your pictures of uh, sandcastles that you make or play scenes that you make with your Lego figures or Playmobil men or any kind of sculptures that you're able to make using the cloud dough. Just take a picture and pop it on St Martin's St Martin's page for us to see. We'd really, really enjoy seeing your creations. I hope you enjoy your your um, cloud dough and have a very lovely sandy time.